Welcome back to the Captain Sandy and Leah Ray show. I'm so excited you guys joined us again. More importantly, do you know what day it is today? Of course I know what day it is. The day, Be the Calm or Be the Storm launches my book alongside William Dyer and Deepak Chopra by Hay House, of which I was a Louise Hay. I read all of her books. I loved her. She transformed me into the person I am today. I'm so proud of you. It's your book launch today. Thank you. Thank like, you. that's huge because you work so hard. Thank you so much. And what's so perfect is that actually our next caller, our next question has to do with leadership, which is all about your book. So I think you should like answer this next question. Well, thank you. Let's listen to it. Her name's Yaya. Let's listen to Yaya. Hi there. Uh, my name is Yaya. I'd like to see us uh, have some topics on being a leader with compassion. Um, and I think if you are a leader with compassion, you are grace under fire and um, kind and gentle and steady uh, would would be a topic I'd like to see. And I thank you for this. And I wish you both the best, uh, Leah and Captain Sandy. Thank you for everything. Aw, I love uh, that. Thank you, Yaya. i sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly. Um, first and foremost, thank you for the question. It's aligned with my book today. How do I stay graceful under fire. I have actually witnessed Leah do that on several occasions. I think it comes from self-leadership and that's in my book. I think it comes from knowing that I have to check my ego at the door. I have to keep my feet on the ground, stay grounded, stay humble, and think about making sure that I'm whole before I execute, right? So And so just so people know, just a little bit, can you just tell us a couple of themes about what your book's about? Everyone, go out and buy my book, Be the Calm or Be the Storm. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Like, you worked how long on this book? Three years. Yeah. Three years with a ghost writer who's an excellent writer, Samantha Marshall, who interviewed me every day in my little ADHD brain, got to know me, and knew when to stop the sessions. Hence, three years in the making. Yes. I'm just so proud of you. Thank you. And I hope that every one of you get a copy of my book it's amazing it's a amazing amazing book of your life and what else leadership so the first chapter is all about the mess I used to be how I changed my life how I learned the art of self-leadership I couldn't lead anyone unless I could lead myself so that meant checking my ego at the door making sure that I was emotionally balanced and physically right because how can you lead someone if you're not you don't feel good about yourself. Right. Physically, you don't feel well. You're yeah. not feeling great, right? Yeah, but your story of your life is amazing and how you carry that over and became this world-renowned leader now Aww, in the maritime you. industry. And so many people just love and thank you. adore you and look up to you. And you're such an inspiration to so many people. And now to have your book thank and your you. words in people's hands is a blessing. Oh, I love that. I mean, honestly, I always like to say I went to the school of hard knocks. I was kicked <laughs> out of 11th grade. You'll hear a lot of my, well, you'll read a lot of my story in the first chapter. How I met my crew, how I got a job in the yachting industry, how I became a captain, how I learned the art of leadership because it's a forever learning art, in my opinion, how I remain teachable, how I learned how to listen. And then take other people's experience and utilize it in my own daily routine. Yeah, it's awesome. And not only that, you're speaking for many corporate events now and leadership events. And now you have a book to go along with that, which is amazing. So People can pre-order your book before they book you to speak and everyone will have a book and meet you in person. It's pretty amazing. Thank you, Leah. Honestly, I feel blessed. I feel like I was given this platform for a reason Mm -hmm. and it was to help others. Uh, Everyone was asking me when, when is the book coming out? When is the leadership book? I really got the request for leadership books. I have to tell you, I didn't go to corporate leadership training. I honestly learned what, how I wanted to be, how I wanted to be treated How I treat others is exactly how I would want to be talked to and led. When I go to talk to someone about something they messed up on, I just think about my approach 
and how would I want to hear my words, right? How would I want to hear that? And I want to he- would want to hear that in a kind way. Yes, I get angry. Yes, I lose my cool. But it's the art of being the calm in the middle of the storm. You have a choice. You could be a part of the storm or you could be the calm. And I choose the calm. And when I lead people, just say, fires and pirates. And you look at your crew who all the eyeballs are on you. You have to remain calm. Because when they see you're calm and okay, they will be calm and okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, if they see yeah. that you're, you know afraid they're going to feel afraid so i always had to maintain that and trust me it's just not about pirates and fires it is at sea those boats you hear every sound when you're crashing into waves and you're thinking to yourself are the welds going to hold together and you just have to maintain that composure the other thing you'll learn about in my book is how i learned humility what being humble means and how to stay that way, how to keep your feet on the ground, especially when you're on TV. I mean, honestly, I, my friends help with that. Um, My connection with a higher power helps with that. Leah definitely helps with that. And she's taught me so much. And well, I think there's some writing in there about you. And I'm not only... Really? Yes, really. And I'm not only in a leadership role. Leah owns her own business and you operate it. And I've seen her in action and she... You lead with grace. She leads with grace and Thank kindness. You. And I think that's an art. So share with us. Yeah. I mean, I own a business called Hydro Lounge. It's an IV hydration and skin med spa here in Lone Tree, Colorado. And I mean, it's my first retail store that I've ever owned and ran. So it's, a you know, scary and exciting all at the same time. And definitely I'm learning every single day. Um, you know, I've, I have about eight medics that work underneath me and they will all work at hospitals and I'm learning how to, you know, manage their lives and their kids and their shifts. And I'm constantly getting text messages and then from the clients and, and it can be a lot. And, but I, I love it, you know, and I, it's hard managing people, especially when it's just you and I don't have anyone else to delegate it to. I have to figure it out. So a lot of times I come home and talk to Sandy and I'm like, well, you know, what would you do? And, um, and so sometimes I have to stop and take a breath and before I text and have restraint as well. And, um, the biggest thing to me is like, what I love about you is talking to people like face to face, not through a text message, especially when it's like something big. And I just think a lot of people hide behind text messages and emails when, you know, just I, I love the face to face relationship and communication. It's just how I love my business. And I've worked for bosses before that were a nightmare and I would come home crying and I hated it. And I thought I will never be a boss like that. I want to be some, I even don't like the word boss cause I'm, I'm not the boss of them. I, I'm the, a leader. I strive to be a leader to people and create an environment that are happy to come to work and, and, you know, have it be a peaceful, happy, joyful place that they want to come to. And it makes them strive to be better. And yeah, that's incredible. I, you know, a couple of things you touched on. It's like, I, when I speak, I always say there are two types of people in the corporate world or in a, you know, managing world. There's a boss and there's a leader, a leader, A boss is someone who sits behind the desk and says, do as I say, not as I do. A leader is someone who says, "Um, I will stay to the end until your work is done. I will help you and support you. I will be in the trenches with you. I will lead the way. I will shoulder the negativity. I will shoulder everything that comes from the upper management. And I will make sure you do not feel that. I will field it so you don't feel it. And that's a leader. And that's what you are. And you have to manage. And also, I love that Leah also thinks about the person and what goes on in their life. Um, And I think when you said you manage their lives, not, I think you, what you meant to say is they are trying to manage their lives and you're trying to manage your business and incorporate, yeah, make it it fit. And that's really, I watch her every night. Um, Leah cares. I think that's important from someone who leads you. You have to think about their lives but at the same time you're there to do a job you can't expect you know always to have that 
un- complete understanding, but no one should ever make you cry and go home. That should never happen. And if that's the case, turn them into HR, write a letter. It's effective. And the other part is leave if it doesn't change because no one deserves no. to have that kind of pressure. No. And the other part of that is just lead yourself first, right? Stay humble, stay grounded, treat others with kindness and help each other out because that's really what it takes. And you're always learning. And I always believe that you should surround yourself with people who like know more than you. Just because you're an owner doesn't mean you know it all. And I've surrounded myself with people who are unbelievable in the medical industry. And I learn from them constantly. And I'm a skin expert. So, you know, the estheticians learn from me, but they also research and I learn from them. And so, and one thing I learned this last week is that you know, I've been gone a lot. We've been doing a lot and it's, uh, we're always working. It's, I don't remember, we haven't been on a vacation at all. And it looks like that maybe, but we're always working and it's all to network and meet people and get out there and grow the name and the platform and, and just spread the word of our businesses. Cause we want to help people. And so a lot of times my team said, you know, we miss you. We're, you're not around. We need you present because and, and so you have to remember that your, the people that work underneath you or with you, they, they want that relationship with you. And so now I've set a time aside once a month to have like a little dinner with the team and it just keeps us all united and grounded and as a family and people crave that. They don't want to be on an island alone. If you're invested, they will be invested. Yeah. If you're not invested, they won't be invested. So Leah's invest it of course but also leah has to grow her business so yeah. and you know it's not always about the money of course we all want to make money but it is about changing lives and helping others yes. because at my age your age that's what we want to do it isn't like we're 20 you know and just starting our careers we've had careers now it's time to give back in those careers at the same time you make an income right yeah yeah and creating platforms for and jobs for people. Right. Creating jobs for people. And it's not all about me, 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 take, take, take. It's a give, give. It's not a give, take. And yes. remember that. Uh, one of the things of my book, I I had all my crew before Below Deck Mediterranean it, were interviewed, a, a majority of my crew. So you'll hear a lot of their stories in how I led. I um, I stay in touch with them today. Like, you know, we spent years together. We've been through literally hell. I mean, rough seas, broken down, no steering, no, no oil, Thanksgiving day, have to deadline to get to Antigua charter show. How do we get there? I hand the kids $600 and I'm like, whack those weeds, go find a truck. There's an airstrip 45 miles away. Find your way there and don't leave until a plane lands with oil. And that's exactly what he did. And that's, it takes team, it takes teams. Teamwork makes the dream work. And that I truly had an incredible dream team her phone's like ding 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 and it's like people from all over the world that have kept in touch with you and um from my past yeah i mean but all everywhere we go it's like oh i want you to meet my friend so and so and i want you to meet my friend here and it's it's beautiful yeah and that's the maritime industry i'm so grateful for the maritime industry because you travel the world you meet different people you learn different languages you learn about different cultures and you have friends all over the world. So if you decide to go on a holiday. And have like, boats. And they, well, some of them do. <laughs> well, most of them work on them. Uh, however, um, it's pretty awesome. So yeah. thank you. Go out and buy my book. It's Hay House. I love Hay House. I grew up with Louise Hay. She changed my life in so many ways. And I hope that my book changes your life. And what's the name of the book? It's called Be the Calm or Be the Storm. Go out and buy it today. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching. Click the link below, subscribe, and if you have any questions for us, feel free to hit record, and we will try and answer your questions as soon as possible. Thanks so much for joining us. And don't forget, always do the next right thing. That's by in the book, so go buy it. The next right thing. (laughs) Bye. Bye. Nothing's gonna